So it's been about a year since I posted my cardboard pinball machine video, and since then I've gotten an overwhelming amount of requests to do a flipper um, mechanism follow-up video. Before we get into the flipper tutorial, I just wanted to talk about the multiball mechanism, which I know a lot of you have asked about. So guys, um, a lot of you guys asked about it, so here it is, just really all it is is just two pins with the rubber band here. That third pin behind there is just to prevent it from falling on its own. See that, how it, how it holds it in place? So you have the two pins and the rubber band, and then the marble just sits there. Ignore this black piece, by the way. I don't really know what I was doing there, but... So, just... That's all there is to it, guys. Just two pins and a rubber band. So, so what you'll need for this is uh, cardboard, obviously, paper, uh, pencil, scissors, a gaffer knife, and ruler. Oh, and also hot glue gun. So, yeah, so, uh, I have mine plugged in over there, so get, uh, while you're doing this, plug your hot glue gun in so you can have it ready and everything. Oh, also, you'll need a hole punch as well. So, uh, one of these. So you need a piece of paper and start by drawing out the flipper shape that you, that you want. So, this will be your template for your, both your flippers. I'm only gonna make one, just for... Just to show you, um, but you need to make two, obviously, because, yeah, so. Just draw the shape of the flipper, and you can use reference pictures if you need to. Okay, so I think it's looking good now. So now just go ahead and cut that out. So now you want to trace this shape on cardboard. Okay, so once you've traced that on cardboard, just cut it out. Okay, so now that you have the first flipper cut out, um, you want to make four more of these. So I'm back and I made the flippers. Um, while I was doing that, I thought of some materials that I forgot to mention. So you also need a pencil crayon like this. It doesn't really matter what color because it's going to be hidden. Um, but this is going to be the thing that the, the, the flipper pivots on. So we need that. And also you might need a few, or you will need a few popsicle sticks. Now we're going to make the hole for the pencil crayon to go into. So just mark around here, so you want to make kind of a mark here like this, and this is where the pencil crayon is going to go into, and it's going to pivot like that. So go ahead and, uh, well, you can use a hole punch for this, or you can cut it out, it's just a lot easier if you use a hole punch. So hole punch that there. So now that you have this, you want to take one of them for now and lay it on top and then mark where that dot is and then hole punch it so now you have that and just do it for four of them and then for one of them leave it blank okay guys so now that you have four of them hole punched and one of them not now you want to glue them, and the way you're going to do that is just four of them like this, and then this goes on top like that. So that's how you want to glue it. Make sure when you're gluing it that um, the holes stay lined up.
Okay, so now that you have that glued, just wait for that to dry. Should just take a few seconds. Okay, so now the next step is to glue the crate, the pencil crayon into the hole. So it's kind of tight in there, so you want to open up anything that's blocking it. So kind of test to see if it fits first, and see there, now it fits. And so now you want to glue it, put some hot glue in there, and then push it so it stays in there tight. So you want to wait for that to dry. So now what I've done is I've made a rectangle out of cardboard. If you're going to make a whole pinball machine, you need the whole play field, which fits everything, including the obstacles and the, the targets and everything like that. Just for this video, I'm using a small rectangle piece just to show you. So wherever you want your flipper to be, let's say I want it right here. So it's going to pivot like that. And you want to open it up so that it actually can turn. You don't want to make it tight. Uh, you also don't want to make it too loose because um, then the flipper will be loose. So it should be able to turn easily but also not be loose. And once you've done that, the next step is to make a rectangle piece out of cardboard. So I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to kind of estimate here. So let me just measure here. Um, about three inches by an inch. So make a piece that is three inches long and one inch wide. Okay, so now you want to make four more. So you should have a total of five now. And you want to hole punch it right there. And then take another one. Mark where that hole punch is. And then hole punch another one so you should have two now that are hole punched so for the other three remaining pieces you want to hole punch one here and one here so you'll so you line it up here mark it hole punch it line it up like this mark it hole punch it so I'll just show you one of them and then I'll come back when I finish the rest so one like this and hole punch it. And then one like this, so you see one there, and then you lay this one on top. So you should have something that looks like this. So then you'll end up with two that have one hole punch in them, and three that have two hole punches in them. So I'll come back once I finish these two. Okay, so I've finished hole punching all of them. So two of them should have one hole punch. Three of them should be like this. So the way you want to glue these together is three in the middle. And then one of them on top like this. And then the other one should go like this. So you should have one hole here, when you flip it over, a hole here. So that's how you want to do it. So I'll show you exactly how to glue that, I'll just put the camera down. So, like this. Make sure the holes line up. Uh, try to get them as lined up as you can. Okay, so should look like this. Okay, so take this piece, flip it over, and the piece that we just made. Now, what you want to do is mark the width of the piece that we just made 
on the pencil crayon, but you don't want to mark it right where it ends. You want to mark it just below that. So see how the mark is just below the width of this piece? Don't mark it right where it ends. You want to mark it just below that. So then you take this out. So I marked it right there and now I'm going to cut it off. So this is cut to the proper length now and I'm going to position it what angle I want it to stay at. So position it where you want it to stay and then tape it. This is just going to be temporary. We just we don't want it to move while we work on the back. So just put some tape there. Um, so yeah, that looks good. I'm going to angle it like this. And then flip it over and we're going to glue this piece like this now. So it's going to look like this. So let me just glue that real quick. So you can put some glue in here. And then make sure you press firmly so it stays in there. And now you can remove the tape. It should look like this now. So you should have this pivoting. Take your pencil crayon. Uh, so put the pencil crayon inside the hole and then uh, mark about an inch away from here. So from here to here, mark about an inch. So I've marked mine right there. And now we're just gonna cut that off, so. Um, make a mark around it and then break it off like that. So, We're gonna glue that like that, so let me just hot glue it. And guys, just take your time with this, have fun. It's, just go slow with it and yeah. So now we have that there and we're gonna make the part that pushes it. So let's... Um, Cut out a piece here. So mine is gonna be. Hmm. Let me see. Uh. So I'm gonna make mine like about an inch wide. So let me just cut that. So mine is about five inches long and an inch wide. Um, you uh, you might want to make yours longer depending on how far away your flipper is from the edge of the cardboard. So see, mine is not that far away from the cardboard, so I don't need that long of a piece. But if your if this knob is way over here or even over here then you need to um, make this longer so that it can actually reach it. So uh, look at the distance from your from this piece to here, and then try to estimate how long you want this piece to be. Um, you wanna make it long enough so that it pushes this, but so that you could also reach it from the outside. So kinda just, uh, you don't want it to be too short, otherwise it won't work, but if it's too long, you can always trim it down later. So I'm gonna make, um, let's see. Probably five or six more of these pieces, and then I'll come back and I'll I'll show you. Okay, so I've made six more, so now I have a total of seven of these. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and now I'm just gonna glue them on top of each other one by one. So let's do that now.
Okay, so this is going to be the part that pushes the flipper. So see when we push, the flipper goes up. So once you have this piece made, now we want to round the edge off, sort of. So we want to create sort of like um, like a half circle almost. So let me just draw that out. So draw like a half circle on. The reason why we need to round this off is because right now when we try to push it, it's kind of jagged, not very smooth. See that? So we need to round it off and that way when we push it, it'll be a lot smoother. So uh, in order to cut this, you can use something like this box cutter and that will help you to cut it. So see how it just slices right through. So just kind of shape it into like a shape it so it's rounded off. Okay, so it's relatively round now, so I think that's good enough. Let's see. All right, so see how it's a lot smoother now? It goes along with the curve. It's no longer jagged like this. See the difference? So that's what we want. So once you have this rounded off now, let me just clean this up. Okay, so now that you have this, we're going to make sort of a rectangle piece. So let me just do that real quick. So let me just see. So might have to trim that down. So from here to here, you want to make that the width of this piece. So it should look like this when you line it up. So you want to make sort of a casing for it. And now you're going to bend the edges so that you can glue it on like this. See that? So make sure it fits before you glue it. So I'm just gonna test to see real quick. So it looks good. So I'm just gonna glue that right there. So let me just get some hot glue. And hot glue it right here. And hot glue right here. So this will go right like this. This is going to act as sort of a stopper for this for this knob here, so that the flipper can't go past this point. And this piece will also act as sort of like a guide for this piece right here, so that it it pushes straight. And the next thing we need to do is um, get out our popsicle sticks. So we need to mark the width of this piece on our popsicle stick and then just cut it to the to the correct length so you can kind of make a mark in it and then break it off just like that and then um, if you want to you can use your scissors to kind of clean the edges up so it should look like this and we're gonna glue that right there so just get some hot glue so now what you want to do is build it up so you have more layers of popsicle sticks so just repeat what I just showed you so I'm gonna mark it and again I'm just gonna cut it So now I'm going to um, build up a few more layers. So 
I'm going to do this two more times and then should be good. So mark it. And then, like I showed you earlier, just cut it, make a small score in the popsicle stick. And then you can break it off like that. And now we're going to trim that. Okay, so now that we have that done, just wait for that to dry, and you can test to see if it works. So, see how that stops from going further? So now what you want to do is line the edge of this with the edge of this, like that. See, line those two up, and then mark where the end of the popsicle stick is. Just draw a line there. And I'm just going to check to see. So, the popsicle stick should be aligned with that mark that we just made, and then there's these two should be um, parallel. Cut that little section out. So you can get rid of that. So cut that out and then also trim the sides. So and other side as well. We want to make room for the for the sliding piece. So we need to kind of open it up. Now you can see how it kind of how it works. So and it doesn't really matter how long this is, just make sure it's long enough that the rubber band doesn't like fly off. So make it kind of make it like maybe from here to here double that so should be like double this width and then you can glue that right there so let me just do that uh, let me take this out it's kind of in the way so let me take that out and then glue the popsicle stick make sure you put a lot of glue on this part because there's going to be a lot of tension since the rubber band is going to be pressing against this so Hold that there and wait for it to dry. I'm going to add some more glue around it to make sure that it doesn't um, come off. Again, we want to make sure this is really secure on because there's going to be a lot of tension on this piece. So just put a lot of glue on it. So I'm just going to wait for that to dry now. So while this, um, while this is drying, I wanted to say that you could add a piece, you could add a popsicle stick here. And the reason for that is because this piece is going to be hitting against this a lot. When you push the flipper and it springs back, it's going to be hitting against this. So you can add a popsicle stick there and that will protect this. So you'll need a rubber band for this, and then you can put this in like this. 
and then oh this rubber band's actually too big so let me just find a smaller one so i've found a rubber band that works for this let me just show you so you put the rubber band on the pencil crayon and then stretch it to this popsicle stick here and it should work now so see that so let me just show you from the front so you can see that's it guys um, I know a lot of you have been asking me to make a video about this. Um, this is a different pinball machine that I made a while back that I never showed in a video. Um, so it's pretty much the same thing. It, it just has a really basic design. So there's that one. I just wanted to show you that for fun. Here's the flipper on an actual pinball machine. And then here's just the cardboard flipper by itself. Yeah, guys, that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Other than that, I'll see you guys in my next video.